welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about monarch butterflies. Did you know that some monarch butterflies, specifically in the summer, they live between two to five weeks old, but there is a special type of monarch butterfly that lives in the Northeast and they can live up to seven to nine months. And they travel all the way from the Northeast all the way down about 3,000 miles to Mexico, to the high mountains where millions of monarch flutter butterflies come together. <gasps> so we're gonna do a quick monarch butterfly breathing activity, and then we're gonna learn about a monarch butterfly named Oliver. And he's going on a little journey down to Mexico, and we're gonna see if he can make the three thousand mile journey to millions of other monarchs. Let's get started. It's time for butterfly breathing. Bringing the bottoms of your feet together, knees out into butterfly pose. We're going to inhale and raise our arms or our wings up to the sky and exhale. We'll bring them down. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's try this two more times. Inhaling up and exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go see if Oliver, the monarch butterfly, can make his 3,000 mile journey. It's time for a monarch butterfly yoga adventure. It's easy. Just follow along and do what I do and be sure to listen to the story along the way. Once upon a time, there was a little egg named Oliver. Coming into egg pose or child's pose, sitting on our ankles, tucking our head down to the ground like a little tiny egg. And over the egg lived on a little on the underneath of a milkweed plant. And one day, ooh, coming up just a little bit, a baby caterpillar popped out of the egg. Let's move to caterpillar pose, bringing our legs out behind us, bringing our bellies to the ground and lifting up just a little bit, like a little baby caterpillar. And all over the caterpillar would only eat one thing, and that was milkweed. Let's eat some milkweed together. So bending our elbows and coming back up. And bending our elbows and coming back up. And one more time, bending our elbows and coming back up. And coming to standing, Oliver, the little baby caterpillar, traveled all around different milkweed plants and would eat lots and lots every single day. Until one day, he turned in to a chrysalis, coming to mountain pose, bringing our hands by our side, squeezing everything tight, and we're in a little chrysalis. We can look around, but we're tiny and in this little chrysalis, and we start to turn into this weird goo. And after some time, we come out. Do you know what we come out as? Yeah, Oliver the monarch butterfly. So slowly lift one arm up and poke it out. Good, and slowly lift the other arm out and poke it out. And then bringing one leg out and the other leg out. But when a monarch butterfly first comes out of its chrysalis, it has to pump the blood to its wings. So let's pump the blood to our wings by shaking one leg as much as we can. Shake, 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 shake. Ah! And then shaking the other leg. Shake, 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 shake. Whoa, don't fall. Shake, 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 shake. And then shake one wing out. Whew. Shake, 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 keep shaking that arm. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And shake the other arm. Shake, 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 shake. Getting all the blood to our wings so we can fly. And let's shake our whole body. Ready? And shake, 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 shake. And it's time to fly. So spread your wings, bend your knees a little bit, and let's 
flap our wings for the first time. Wow. What's it like to fly like a butterfly? Wow. And we're just, we're not just any normal monarch butterfly. We are a special monarch butterfly born in the Northeast that travels down to Mexico for 3,000 miles. Oh, look, there's a flower. Let's eat some flower nectar. Coming to sitting, bringing the bottoms of our feet together for butterfly pose. And we're going to bend forward and eat some flower nectar. Okay, let's keep flying. Oh, another flower. Let's eat some more nectar. Oh, and let's keep flying. And yeah, Oliver the monarch butterfly is getting pretty sleepy. Let's go ahead and take a rest. Coming down to child's pose, bringing our hands in front this time. And did you know that monarch butterflies sleep with their eyes open? So be sure to sleep with your eyes open. Next day, and the butterfly woke up, spread its wings, and decided to fly again, bending our knees, flying around. Uh-oh, it looks like there's a swallowtail butterfly over there. Let's go check it out and see if it needs some help. Coming down onto our knees, hello. This swallowtail's name is Lulu. What's going on, Lulu? Let's come to Lulu Butterfly Pose. So, sitting up on our knees, bringing our arms out to our side, and flapping our wings. And Lulu told us that she had some flower nectar that had something bad on it. Maybe something was sprayed? I don't know, but Lulu is not feeling well. Let's rub our belly. Lulu had bad flower nectar. Oh, no. So, Oliver, Decided to think for a minute, and think for another 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 minute, and then decided to fly around and see if we could find some food for the swallowtail, Lulu. So let's fly around again. And we came to a beautiful garden, and somebody was growing dill. Let's come back to butterfly eating pose, so bringing our feet together. And monarch butterflies don't eat dill, but swallowtail butterflies like Lulu do. So Lulu is gonna eat some dill to help her little butterfly tummy. So leaning forward and... And then going back to Lulu the butterfly pose, sitting up on her knees, flapping her wings. Lulu said, oh, thank you so much. I really wasn't feeling well, but that dill helped my tummy a lot. <sighs> and Oliver said, no problem. But I myself am getting a little bit hungry and I can't eat dill, so I need to look for some more flower nectar. Do you know where I could go? And Lulu said, well, I wouldn't need any of the flower nectar around here. That makes my tummy sick. So Oliver needed to keep flying. So, coming to standing, we're gonna fly around again. But Oliver couldn't find any flower nectar that wasn't sprayed. So he decided, coming into warrior pose, he said, I am strong. I will keep looking for nectar. So staying in this warrior pose, let's fly like a warrior butterfly, looking for nectar. Uh, I don't see any. Okay, let's go the other way. So switch your direction and keep flying. Bending that front knee and looking around. Hmm, he still didn't see any and say, I am strong. Yeah, and let's keep looking. Coming to standing, Oliver was feeling really tired. Bending forward and Oliver decided it was time to take a rest. So coming back to child's pose, <sighs> Oliver said, I guess I'll sleep with an empty belly tonight. Bringing your hands in front. And remember, monarch butterflies sleep with their eyes open. 
So keeping your eyes open. <sighs> Next day, Oliver woke up and he said, oh, I'm so hungry. So he decided to fly around and he couldn't find any, so he went back to his warrior pose. So he felt stronger and he kept looking, he couldn't find any. And then he kept looking and he couldn't find any. And then he came to a beautiful field of flowers and this flower nectar smelled okay. So coming to flower pose, coming down onto our bottoms, bring our feet to the ground, bringing our elbows to the ground, boop, and then looping our hands under our legs for flower pose. And Oliver decided to eat a bunch of nectar, bringing the bottoms of our feet together, leaning forward and drinking lots and lots of nectar. Let's keep eating. Oh, Oliver was so full, coming to standing, rubbing our belly and flying, but this time we're gonna fly really, really slowly. How slow can you fly? Oliver is so full and so happy that he found some flower nectar that was safe to eat. And then he decided to take a rest, calming down again and resting with our eyes open. Next day, Oliver kept flying around and he had a long journey to go. Keep flying, he decided to fly in a different direction. So flying in another warrior pose. And switching our feet, flying again. This is a long journey to the mountains in Mexico. Oh, and then he decided to eat some more nectar, bringing our feet together, leaning forward. Until he got so full and he went to sleep again. Next day, Oliver kept flying around until he found some flower nectar, coming back to eating pose and eight, and then he went back to bed, coming to child's pose. Next day, and Oliver kept doing this day after day after day, coming down to eating, and then he rested. Next day, and he kept flying, and he kept eating, and he kept sleeping, and he kept flying and eating and sleeping until the next day when he woke up, he started flying and he saw the beautiful mountains in Mexico coming to mountain pose. Ah, Oliver was so happy. He had made it on a 3,000 mile journey to Mexico. And when he got there, he landed in a tree. Coming to tree pose, your foot can be low or it can be really high, whatever feels comfortable for you. And when Oliver got into this tree, he noticed something. Let's switch feet. In this tree, whoo! In this tree, he saw millions and millions of butterflies. <gasps> and then he realized something. They were all having a butterfly dance party. Are you ready for a butterfly dance party? Let's bring our legs out wide. On the count of three, it's time to dance like a butterfly. What does a butterfly dance like? I don't know, but join me. Ready? One, two, Three, butterfly dance party. Woo! Millions of butterflies. They flew 3,000 miles to get to Mexico. Woo! So they could have a butterfly dance party with millions and millions of monarch butterflies. Coming down to a sitting position, Oliver, the monarch butterfly, made it to Mexico. 
he traveled, he met some friends, he ate a lot, he slept a lot, and he flew a lot, but he made it. And Oliver lived the rest of his life in Mexico. And then his babies went back and flew all the way back to the Northeast. That is incredible. <sighs> let's move on to some relaxation. Okay, fellow butterflies, let's relax for a little bit. That was a long journey. Go ahead and find a comfortable seated position. You can sit like me. You can lay on your back with your bellies up or you can sit in hero's pose. If you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes now. If you don't feel comfortable, you can find a soft gaze, which means you just look at one thing in the room and try to stay focused on just that one spot. With our eyes shut, let's bring our hands to our heart. Is your heart beating fast? That was a lot of flying. Maybe your heart's beating slow. Just notice that rhythm for a second. Monarch butterflies are small, but they can travel extremely far and accomplish things that nobody thought was possible for such a small little creature. Maybe that's like you. Maybe you're small but mighty. And maybe you're little, but you can accomplish so many things. Keeping our hands on our heart. Let's take three deep breaths together. In through our nose, out through our mouth. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Three more. Last one. Now, with your hands on your heart, do you notice if your heart is beating slower or faster than it was before we did our breaths? Maybe it's moving slower. If you ever feel your heart beating really fast, maybe try taking a few deep breaths and seeing if that helps. And slowly rolling over to one side, using your arms to lift yourself up to a comfortable seated position if you aren't already in one and keeping our eyes closed or keeping that soft gaze. Monarch butterflies accomplish incredible things. And so can you. I'm gonna play the singing bowl one more time. When you don't hear it anymore, go ahead, raise your arm and open your eyes. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, stay yogi full. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Bye bye. Hello, kids, get your yoga on. Join with me, it'll be real fun.